Chaga, chaga, choo, choo. What's up, guys? Iki with the CC Train LC uh, Mall Train Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Live channel, new uh, live channel when, when I'm going to do a lot of installations like real time, okay? Sorry about the previous broadcast. It was kind of testing. Uh, I checked uh, on bitrate. If you have questions how I'm broadcasting, I'm, I'm uh, no problem to share. So today, it will be probably like 15, 20 minutes uh, max. Um, and I, I have like three engines, uh, need to work a lot on them. Uh, probably will broadcast as well. So what we have here, it's um, scale trains. I'll show you the box. So scale trains, Burlington Northern, um, SD40-2, of course. Um, the scale trains did a lot. Uh, and they change, uh, they, they design, I'll, I'll show you in a second. So they redesign, especially for ESU Lux Sound version 4. So any decoder you need, uh, it's uh, version 4. Not um, just standard, uh, don't need to be Motorola protocol, but uh, just not, not standard, I think, this with ma maximum features, okay? Um, so let's pop the shelf. I already did video how I'm um, taking that apart. So you're taking two screws from the coupler box, okay? Pulling those coupler boxes, those nice couplers. Color a little bit missing. It's not really rusty. It's kind of just brown, okay? I will probably paint them much darker or do some... Um, weathering as well so I just put the shelf away so it's not on our way and uh, I strongly recommend to read the manual in the manual it says for um, all features of the lightning if especially lightning features okay they are a special design board so there is deep switch here I already turned them turn it on. It's covered actually. I can zoom actually in this camera oh, Hold on one second. Sorry Let me Make it a little bit closer Okay, so 21 pin decoder right and here that's deep switch Right there. So I already we need some kind of you know that bamboo um, chapstick um, try to avoid use metal pieces but if you have like a pin or something um, like pinhole or something yeah that will work too so I did all, did it already now I'll show you how to remove that plug for DC if you first time and I know lot of people coming back to hobby so I'm just using same thing here and kind of slowly if you try to pull it in one time with the fingers it's chance you can bend one side of the other because the power uh, like forces won't be uh, distributed I did it like few times myself I thought it's like good to go but no it was bad so not really bent it like much but the chance is very high okay so slowly slowly when it will be like completely free see the size side here okay so what I'm very excited to put I'm putting like pilot to just figure out how the beacon is working all right that's it and now opening box taking that decoder here
because that has a marker uh, marker lights on up front okay that's why I'm going to check it too also I need a, a download specific file for that Burlington for lock pi pilot uh, 21 pin okay important thing is there like a um, key or no pin so that goes only one it you can install you can install only one direction I saw some uh, some where it was I think it was in um, Hornby or something this was like upside down or something yeah but um, just unusual one way only okay you just cannot do this because there is no hole for that pin okay there is kind of blocked if you can see through it's kind of dark literally um, part of the board has no hole okay that's my point so and uh, on this channel I will do like more basic installation now you can put like with two fingers like nicely done oops no problem what's here no some some wires on the way huh. no it should be it should be good okay that's how it's uh, working so the 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 shell has two contacts here so those contacts will provide power for beacon and I'm just desperately <laughs> oh yeah uh, originally if it's brand new uh, there is like small tiny tiny I'll try to show you <laughs> I pull it in my previous video so see like tiny tiny cupped on tape you know, you, theoretically you can put it back uh, meaning I don't know so means it was already installed the tape was there probably showing it's off anyway so <laughs> don't need to really mess with it where it's where it went stick someplace <laughs> let me see I'll find it it's not a big deal just make sure it's not going to the gear assembly no it's someplace here not big deal so sometimes stuff mysteriously <laughs> disappearing <laughs> no kidding wow yeah so they covered with that Copton tape um, Oh, it's on my finger. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, s same here. Yeah, so definitely don't. don't that's how it, it was. I'll just show you how it was before. But you don't need it here like that. Yeah, so don't need it here. Okay, done. Sorry, that that was covered with my magnifying glass. Yeah. Mm, I'm thinking what else can be. Uh, keep that plug just in case if you want to change to sound decoder or you want to sell it and another person uh, wants to use like different type of decoder you know soundtracks for example sound decoder or just different type of decoder as well the functions the lightning functions will work only with the ESU version 4 Okay, ESU version 4, Lock Pilot or Lock Sound. <clears throat> and that's that's the reason I, I turned those um, dip switches on. That's what's in the manual. Recommend str strongly for that type of, especially for scale trains, they're doing a lot of advanced lightning effects. Strongly recommend to uh, guys read the manual, you'll figure out. You've probably seen in the, in the forum some explanations, but it's just easy. It took me a while to figure out because it's brand new uh, technology right now, okay? Well, that will be all uh, for today. You can share that video if you like on your uh, groups, forums, whatever, no problem at all. Um, we'll do definitely more and uh, that will be all for today.
Thanks for coming, supporting business, and have a good one. Bye. Chaga, chaga, choo, choo.